It's July and it's getting hot, just like the deals at Appalachian Wireless. All month, get the Samsung Galaxy S8 for just a penny with a two-year agreement. But don't wait because the deal ends soon. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Emory Fudge Mullins appeared in Letcher Circuit Court Thursday in the child porn and sex abuse case against him. During that hearing, police gave testimony revealing some of the details of the allegations against Mullins. It was also revealed that Mullins is no longer a candidate for a magistrate in Letcher County. At Thursday's bond reduction hearing, the attorney for Emory Fudge Mullins asked Letcher Circuit Judge Jimmy Kraft to reduce the current $100,000 bond levied on Mullins after he was indicted and arrested on charges of sex abuse, retaliating against a witness, and possessing child pornography. And we've asked the court to reduce this bond to a reasonable amount of uh, 110 percent uh, of 10,000 cash or 20,000 dollar property. At the time of his arrest and indictment, Mullins stood as the Democratic nominee for magistrate in Letcher County's third district. Defense attorney Daniel Dotson revealed that Mullins is no longer a candidate for magistrate in Letcher County. I will tell the court he is now withdrawn from the magistrate's race. Kentucky State Police troopers gave testimony at Thursday's hearing about the case. The detective in the case told the court that Mullins admitted that child pornography would be found on his computer, but he blamed it on his brother. Uh, when speaking to him, he said that he wanted to uh, go ahead and make me aware that on the computer that I had seized that there was possibility that there may be some pictures on there of, uh, of some younger male individuals. He said that his brother would come over and look at those from time to time and he liked because he liked to look at the little boys. The trooper who took Mullins into custody after his indictment said Mullins admitted to searching for pornography of individuals as young as 17 years old. He said he was curious a few times and he searched and he never would look at it wrong and get off the grid. Much of the testimony in Thursday's hearing centered upon the child porn allegations made against Mullins, but prosecutors also focused upon harassment allegedly carried out by Mullins against the alleged victims in a portion of the case. The mother of the alleged victim in the sex abuse charge against Mullins told the court that Mullins violated a court order to stay away from her and her family and its properties. Mullins was arrested in early June on a criminal trespassing charge related to one of those alleged incidents. And I got out and I asked him, I said, what are you doing here? You know you're not supposed to be here. And he said the county said that he could be there. Judge Kraft told the attorneys for both sides that he plans to make a ruling on the motion for bond reduction early next week. Mullins remains lodged in the Letcher County Jail. In Whitesburg, Chris Anderson, EKB News.